dollar top and dollar escape query option. The client side paging is possible by using the dollar top execute the option. This will retrieve the X number of records from the entity set. Dollar skip equal to Y. This goes along with the dollar top X, and this will retrieve the top X record by skipping the number of Y records from the entity sets. This is a very helpful query option when suppose we are presenting some MIS report on the front end system, and for instead of fetching all the records in a single go. We can limit the number of records to be displayed on a single page and by clicking on the next page we can again fire the same query. For example here, suppose we have 100 records but we don't want to show all that records on a single page. So what basically we do, at the time we are displaying 5 to 6 records only. So first we can call the first 5 records by passing the dollar 5, uh, top 5, system will display the 5 records and then on clicking on the next page, we can fire the next query by again passing dollar top equal to 5, but this time we'll use skip equal to 5. So what system will do? System will select all the records, for system will pass the five records, and in the next call, system will select all the records, will skip the first five, and will pass the remaining five records. So let's see how this will work in our Poeta service. So go to our Poeta projects, DPC extension class, get it set. So for now also, we will pass the top and the skip value. So here in the importing structure that is is underscore paging, we can get the value for dollar top or dollar escape. Along with this, we can also get the same value in the I underscore context. Here we have the get underscore top and get underscore escape. The first job is to read whether the top and escape values are passed or not from the signature importing parameter, and second option to implement the code for the same. For implementing the code, Again, here we have two options. Just first read the top and skip value from this structure and completely do the manual coding. Or second option, simply go to the interface. And in this interface, we have third option as the paging. So for paging also, it is very useful. Better go with data utility class. Only for filtering, it is not recommended unless the data set is very less. Otherwise, for both paging and order by directly go with the data utility class instead of writing the logic manually. So let's see how to implement the logic for the paging option. Paging here call method slash IWP EP slash CL underscore mgw underscore data underscore utility called the static method that is paging now press control shift tab so here i as on just the paging we'll just copy this from the importing structure to here and on which data set we want to perform this paging operation so we just want to perform this paging operations here, set, check an error, no error, activate, go to change mode, press the, set the external debugger, go back, service maintenance, click on maintain, get to client, into the set. First, just execute this record, uh, execute the into the set as it is. This time, we're not passing any paging here. Top and skips are zero. So you can see our into the set here. The order numbers are two, three, four, six, seven, eight, nine, like this. Just execute. 
So here we can see the first order is two, that is order number two. Second is order number three, four, six, seven, like this. So what I will do, first I'll pass, get the first three record, five record, like a five record. So I'll pass as pop equal to five. Execute the query. This time in IS underscore paging, you can see pop equal to 5 and skip equal to 0. Press effect. So here you can see 2, order number 3, order number 4, order number 6, and 7. The system has given the order number 7 here. Now let's pass the skip value. So next time, we are again calling the top 5 record, but this time you want to skip the first 5 record. Execute again. Check as underscore paging. This time we have top 5 and skip 5. Check the entity set that the records top 5, 2, 3, 4, 6, and 7. The next five are 8, 9, 11, 12, and 13. Press F6. Five records. Yes, we can see the first five records are escaped, and we have the value 8, 9, 11, 12, and 13. See here, we got the record from 8 to 13. So, in this way, we can use the dot top and escape. It is mostly used in the reporting purpose. Suppose uh, you want to develop a report of sales order details, but we don't want to show 100 of sales order in a single go on the screen. So first we can set some limit, whether it is at 5, 10, 50, based on our requirement. And on clicking on the next page, we can again fire the same query. So in this way, we can use this dollar top and skip. This is very useful when we are making a front-end report with limited data set. So in this way, we can in this session dollar top and dollar skip.